Hello everyone. Uh, this is Sunday, Saturday, May 27th on Memorial Day weekend. My name is Reese. I'm an ICT student. And if you follow Inner Circle Trader, I'm following his uh, model 2022 mentorship and currently going through some of his order block theory. And we're going to go in and back test. Uh, we're going to go in and basically back test some of some of what he says in the video. So this is from episode three. Uh, before we get into that, the into the back test, let me first say that all trading here is done on a simulated account. Obviously, this is Saturday. This this is all fake. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, I am not soliciting you to purchase, sell, transfer, or do anything with any securities, and I'm not a registered financial advisor. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so going into basically testing is order block. So what is an order block? An order block is a change in the state of delivery, and it's usually going to be here on the three-minute, two-minute. One of the things he says in the video is that the high-frequency trading algorithms, or, quote, the algorithm, is going to be looking at your... Uh, three minute, two minute, one minute, and second time frame. So we're going to be on the three minute chart, and what we're looking for is we're looking for a block of bearish uh, of black candles that ideally should have traded below some sort of prior low. So I, you know, goes into the sell side liquidity, and then when we trade above the open of the candle that started the block we call that a, a market structure shift, at which point we're looking for basically the market to go and deliver buy stops, so to get above some sort of short-term highs. So obviously we're day trading here, so we're, we're trading intraday volatility, so we're not looking at, at moving the mountains here, we're just looking at, at basically getting above short-term highs and lows. Conversely, with a bearish order block, we're looking for these bull candles. We're looking for price to trade below the open of the first candle and then deliver some sort of buy, some sort of sell stop. So deliver some sort of sell side. So the idea is that the market is grabbing up the sell stops to then go and offload those hot, to, to willing buyers higher, which are the buy stops above short-term highs. And vice versa. So we're going to be back testing basically these market structure shifts and these order blocks and seeing uh, how that goes. Now this is not the full 2022 model. This is just testing out the order blocks. So this is just a random point in time. And okay, so prices has made a bearish order block. Now if we trade below this 41.46, we're going to get short. 41.46 is what we're looking for. So we have a new order block. We're forming a new order block. We have a, a bullish order block that just formed, but no trade. Okay, so at this point, what have we done? So here we've traded below this bearish order block, and now we're going to get short. And what we're aiming for is we're aiming for these. We're aiming for sell side liquidity at forty one forty one and forty one thirty eight. Okay. So we're trading down, and we're looking for sell side to be delivered. So the idea is that the algorithm at this point should be targeting uh, should be targeting sell stops. There it is. Okay, so that's the first trade this of these uh, of these trades. So he doesn't actually say to get to enter right on the break of the order block. He says that you should wait for it to come back up into the the fair value gap. Right? So the order block should be paired with an inefficiency or an imbalance like a fair value gap. But I'm kind of just stripping it down a little bit. Okay, so let's wait till we have another change in the state of delivery. So we're looking for another block. Three up candles. We're waiting for another block. So again, we have another bear shorter block to get that's uh, formed. So as we we need to trade below uh, 4144 to get short again. Okay, we've got a new 
bear sorter block for me. Still no trade. Okay, so what are we looking for here? We're looking for price to trade below this. Um, what is this? 41, 49 and a half. And that point we'll get short. No. Didn't really get a signal there. Now we're looking for, okay, here we go. Here's a, a bear sorter block. So we have these three up close candles, the open of which is going to be at this 41.52. We've traded below it, so we're going to sell. And we're looking for some sort of sell side to be delivered. Okay, we're in drawdown. Price is, looks, looks like it wants to come back. see how this if it wants to come back yeah it does want to come back so let's see if, if we end up attacking some of this so we actually just had it again happen right here so we're looking for um, like 41 44 okay 41 48 I mean we're looking for 41 44 Should be a change in the state of delivery. We're looking for that 4144. See if we get it. Coming in to still haven't still have not really delivered it. We're just gonna go ahead and close out this trade, but it is another profit. So let's look let's wait for another order block to form. Bear sorter block for me. Waiting for multiple candles in the same direction. So here, that order block that we were looking at ended up delivering these uh, sell stops, but we, we didn't get the sell stops below 41.44, but we did deliver uh, the sell stops at 41.50, and then we also manufactured some more sell stops and we delivered those. So it wasn't exactly a failure. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for either. Okay see what we have here. So we have a bullish order block forming. Four down close candles in a row. Now we've traded and what, what is this? This is on obviously at this time this would have been some news. So we just traded above the 41.58 three quarters. So let's buy this and we're looking for uh, some sort of higher prices. So let's go ahead and just close this out. So that's another another win. Yeah, and what were we delivering there? So we were aiming for 4166. Okay. So so far so good. Nothing forming yet. We have a, a bear sorter block forming. We trade if we trade below it, that'd be so we're looking for a trade below 4162. Just delivered uh, the buy side. Looks like we're about to trade through 4162. We do. So the open of this candle, 4162. Now we're gonna sell. And we're looking for 4151. Let's see if it wants to go attack those equal lows. Bang. Okay, it does. We're gonna get out of this trade. That's another winner. Holy shit! Maybe this guy's onto something. I don't know. It's another winner. So we're looking. We have a bear sorter block forming. So we've got multiple up close candles. We did the same thing. So now we've traded below 41.40. So we're looking for more sell sides. At this point, we're looking for 41.35. Might not get it. That might be ambitious. No. So we ended up trading back up to the fair value gap, which is where ICT said you should have your entry. For replay purposes, I haven't been doing that, but that's where he says you should have your entry. So we're looking for forty we're looking for forty one thirty five.
Looks like it's not going to deliver that, so we're, so we're going to have our loss. Okay. Let's see if we get another order block, bearish order block forming. So let's see if we come and trade lower. Another bearish order block. Bang. Okay, we haven't traded below 41.49 and a quarter. Now we did, so we have a change in the state of delivery. So we traded below 41.49 and a quarter. We're going to sell. And we're looking for 41.37 and a quarter. Still has not delivered the sell side liquidity. So we haven't made a new low. Might be manufacturing some sell stops at this point. Okay, we're gonna close this out. So looks like looks like it didn't really want to get below that 4137 and a half. Bear sorter block forming. Big time bear sorter block forming. We traded above this bullish um, order block here. And so this might actually be a buy because we're gonna, now we're going to look for 41.60. We've not delivered the buy side. Came back down and traded into a fair value gap. So this is a model 2022 20, entry. And yeah, sure enough, here it comes. So we ended up trading lower than I want wanted to. Now we again created another bullish order block that we traded above, and so now we're we're, we're really thinking like up here. Let's see with the icons. So we're thinking 41.66, or at least 41.60. Okay, 41.60 is delivered. 41.63 is delivered. Let's close that out. That's going to be a winning trade. Okay. A bullish order block that formed two down closed candles, bearish order block. So we're in both sides. Okay, we just had the this one come in. So let's sell. Let's look for lower. Oh, that one did not work out. So that's going to be a loss. So what did we see here? We actually saw that our original idea panned out strongly, and we wanted to see this bullish order block. Okay. Okay. Nothing yet. All right, so we have a, uh, what is this? This is gonna be a bearish order block that we just traded under. So we're gonna get short. And we're looking for 41.47. It's attacking the sell side, manufacturing some more sell side. So we didn't quite get there. We delivered under 41.58. Let's close that out. It's another winner. There's sorter block forming. Bullish order block forming. Got above this bullish order block here. 41.64. So let's see if we go deliver up here. Let's buy.
we delivered that 4170. That might be all that we get. Yeah. So that looks like it's all we're going to get. And we ended up actually creating a... Okay. So, delivered but didn't deliver all that I wanted. Okay. The bullish order block forming. Bearish order block formed. We traded slightly below. But didn't really... Not significant enough in my mind. Okay. So, bearish order block. We, ah, it's not perfect. Another bearish order block formed. We just traded below. So now we're going to sell. Look for a few points lower. And we're looking for 41.51. Okay. Small winner. It's fine. So... We didn't quite deliver the sell side though. Now we did. Okay, that's gonna be enough. Um, as you can see, it pretty much delivered every single time. Uh, I was a little bit ambitious with some of the simulated targets, but yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, stuff really works. I mean, if you know what you're looking for and you take good notes and you follow what he says, um, the order block theory is is, uh, I mean, it's nothing short of incredible. It's just unbelievable. So that's it. Bye-bye.